Hello Rage Quitters, welcome. I'm Blackbeard and this is today's review on the Razer Black Widow version 3. Usually you're used to seeing Terminator UK doing this review. He usually does a stellar reviews on any hardware I have detailed on this files. channel. Hopefully I'll live up to a, a little bit of that with what I will call a noob review. Big thanks to Razer, contacts there, I've been very generous. I am looking forward to seeing what this is all about. This is my Razer Onata, and I've had it about three years, and it's never let me down. I've always been very happy with it, I always found it very comfortable. I've enjoyed the low profile keys, so it's going to be interesting to see the difference with this keyboard especially with this being a mecha membrane and this being uh, Razer's green mechanical switches. Um, I'm often loathed for being too noisy on the microphone on Discord, so this is probably going to add to it with the mechanical keys. So uh, that will cover later on. So before we start, I haven't experienced the any previous versions of the Black Widow so it's pretty new to me I've only got experience from like I mentioned earlier the Ornata so we'll see how we get on I think uh, first of all I can tell it's heavy very heavy so it's probably going to be a, a big upgrade compared to this um, I'm looking forward to seeing what that's uh, going to be like right Let's get started with opening it. First thing we need to do is replace it. Always satisfying. Right, interesting. So we've got some sturdy packaging. Lots of plastic, as always, lots of care with Razer products. I can already see the difference in keys, how raised uh, these keys are. It's probably gonna be a big change for me to adjust to from low profile to these keys. Um, be intrigued to see how I get on with that. Right, let's get it out. If I can. My God, the thing's concreted in. Don't need that. Heavy duty cable, as always. Keep the cable management on there for now. Come on, you bastard. Nothing subtle about this with me. I like to get straight in. <laughs> As I mentioned before, it's significantly heavier. You can certainly feel the quality in this uh, in compared to my previous keyboard. It feels heavy, sturdier, better built. Let's get it laid out. I did notice. I've also got here the wrist rest, which I'm not too sure I like the feel of at the minute. It feels very, very firm. In fact, it's just, literally just hard plastic. Hmm. First glance, I've been very used to the, the Onata's um, wrist rest is very spongy. It has served me well. So, 
I think I'll miss that, but you don't know until you try, so we'll see how we get on with uh, this plastic one. Does it snap on with the... Ooh. So no magnets. The Onata has magnets. This doesn't. I'll take some getting used to it with that. Right. Now for the first test, the audio test. Let's see how this performs. Oh, that space bar. That's like moving up to a sledgehammer. But the actual keys Feels really nice. Put that space bar. Not too sure about that one. I'm really not happy about the lack of magnets. Why take them away? What is the point in that? So here we are, plugged in. Ready to go. I've got it all set up. Got my colour scheme back in, being an RGB fanboy. One thing I didn't mention earlier was how sturdy the feet were. They were very sturdy, very stiff to get out. And uh, again, very solid, very uh, heavy and in place. Doesn't feel like it's going to shift, other than the lack of magnets. I'm obviously got a bee in my bonnet about the lack of magnets. Uh, such a simple thing in the last keyboard I had, but I just, um, I do move my keyboard around quite a bit when I'm gaming, and that's probably just gonna be a nightmare. So, not sure how I'll manage with that, but we'll see. I will uh, give it a try and see how I get on. What did just happen earlier was I was recording my review, Synapse had an update, I clicked OK, restarted my PC. Thanks for that. Uh, well, obviously once the update had finished, it restarted my PC and lost my uh, audio for that. Fantastic. <laughs> right, now I think it's on to the actual test of doing some gaming. Let's see how we get on. And here is uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So we'll see how we get on with the keyboard. Um, I'm using this headset and this microphone mainly to pick up the keyboard's sounds. Given I want to see how it performs, especially if I was on Discord and how irritated my mates will become. So we'll find out. Uh, let's crack on. Yella yella! <laughs> Give me a good map. I fucking hate this map. That is just going to annoy the shit out of me. Well, you're not gaming with your wrists, so... Adapt and overcome, as they say. Come on, chop chop. First game on COD in two weeks. I'm going to be very rusty. I'm probably going to struggle like hell, but 
No room for complainers. Here we go. If it moves, kill it. So there's always someone that pops up down there or from behind. Ah! Oh, fucking camping twat! Right. Wrong time to reload. Precision airstrike available. On your mark. Jump shot. Can't say I get many of them. I think I am John Wick. I'm super nervous now with cameras.
Oh, the enter key's a problem. So, how would I conclude? Um, for its price tag, which is around the £140 mark, uh, I think you can definitely see where its money spent is in, this, in the build of the keyboard. It's very sturdy, as I said at the beginning of the video. The keys actually feel really nice and responsive. I'm not an expert when it comes to pressing the keys and the amount of milliseconds you save from pressing a key to the action on the screen. Um, I understand that that's a very big thing for many PC gamers. Um, for me, playing Call of Duty just then, it did seem very responsive, very... It did, it did feel very responsive and quick, but I wouldn't say I noticed a big difference. That's probably because I'm a noob. I would say it's a good keyboard. Um, I'm going to stick with it for now. I did notice on the footage of playing Call of Duty just then that the my mic on my Razer headset didn't pick up too much from the keys, which I'm happy with. Uh, <laughs> I've got to get past the mates test first. They'll certainly tell me if it's, it's too loud. But um, but listening to it now, you can certainly, it's, I can certainly notice a big difference compared to my last keyboard. But uh, it's very loud, but I understand you get that with mechanical keys. So it's uh, more me adjusting. It's down to your expectations of what you want from a keyboard. <laughs> Big question, would I buy it, knowing what it's like? Probably not. 
that's a personal preference. I'm, I prefer low profile keys. I prefer it a little bit quieter. Um, I, I'm not too keen on a wrist rest that's just hard plastic. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even see the point of having it. I mean, I, I might be picky, it might just be me, but would I buy this? No, I probably wouldn't. I've been quite happy with my uh, Razer Onata for quite some time. But I will try it, I will keep going with it for now. See how we get on. Thank you for those who have watched. This is Rage Quitters UK channel. Please subscribe, like, comment, scrutinize, troll. It go, go, say what you like. Um, this is my first review. I don't give a shit if you've got anything nasty to say. I probably won't ever do one again. Right, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you've enjoyed it. Catch you later.